Africa. Now, fighting is underway in the eastern Ukrainian city of Hramatorsk, a hotbed of anti-government sentiment. And these are some pictures taken by the locals. Armored personnel carriers can be seen rolling through the streets of the city. Reports are coming in of at least three deaths, although it hasn't been confirmed yet. Well, for more on this, let's now cross live to Artis Polis Lear, who is in the area for us. Well, Paul, what is known about the latest fighting? Well, the military is advancing further into Kramatorsk, and from the information we have, they are trying to reach the city center. This is according to eyewitnesses. It was also information posted by Kiev's interior minister on his Facebook page. He has urged locals in Kramatorsk and Slavyansk, where I am, which is around 17 kilometers away, to remain indoors. We are now hearing disturbing reports that have not been confirmed that locals are being dragged into the open streets, being forced to kneel, and are being shot from the back of their head and that the people carrying this out are right sector members. Extremely disturbing information that is reaching us right at this moment. We are also hearing from the army that they have now captured all checkpoints in the town, but this has not been verified by anti-Kiev activists on the ground. This is what one eyewitness told us. There's unconfirmed information that mobile phones are being jammed and that soldiers are shooting at civilians who try to block their advance. Self-defense forces are near the city council buildings. There are also reports of troops moving towards the city council. They're in buses, dressed in black without insignia. On Saturday morning near Kramatorsk, the army says that two of its servicemen were killed and at least a dozen were injured. This is when they took over the local TV building and destroyed at least two checkpoints. This was violence that continued from Friday night when a column of armored vehicles advanced towards the town of Kramatorsk trying to smash through the checkpoints and the roadblocks that have been set up in the area by locals. In that action, we're being told that more than 10 people died and some 30 people were injured. All right, Paul Slavansk, where you are now, has also been the target of a crackdown. What's the situation there like now? Right now, we hear that fighting has broken out in various areas around Slavyansk. We are receiving this information from local activists on the ground who say that they're witnessing the right sector involved in this violence. This is a town that is in crackdown. The entire town has been surrounded by the Ukrainian army. And when I talk to locals here, they say that they fear that this is the quiet before the storm, if you like, that for the moment, the attention is on Kramatorsk. But eventually, there's going to be a resumption of the military operations that we saw yesterday, Friday morning here in Slavyansk resuming. And certainly this is something that Kiev itself has said. They have said that they plan to continue with their military operations. Now, the people's mayor of the town has urged residents to come out and defend the city. He's also said that on Friday night, at least 10 people were killed and some 40 people were injured when fighting broke out in one of the suburbs of Slavyansk. This was when right sector members tried to advance further in. Local residents came out and formed a human shield to try and stop that, but they were then shot at. We have a casualty count at the moment, which, according to activists on the ground, has dozens of anti-Kiev protesters killed. And according to the leader of the so-called anti-terror operation, we have five dead and 12 injured on that side. Now, this is what the, the people's mayor of Slavyansk had to say. When our unarmed people blocked the tanks, the right sector fighters came. They started to shoot at peaceful people with the silent consent of Ukrainian troops. It's a disgrace. Now Slavansk is surrounded. There are a lot of military forces here. We're waiting for another attack later tonight. Defence positions here in and around Slavyansk are being fortified. Reinforcements are being brought in. It is feared that in the coming hours there will be a major Ukrainian military operation here. All right, Paul, thanks very much indeed for bringing us this update. And uh, we'll be keeping up with Paul throughout the day today here on our Theatre National.